This is Occupy Your Mind. My name is William Alex Runnels, and I'll be performing Eric. So, so I'm an anarchist. <laughs> you know, you get into these conversations, and I find myself defending anarchists all the time to just like different strains of political thought. And you know, people always want to go, doesn't anarchy mean chaos? And it's like, stop it with that. <sighs> <laughs> don't. Don't. Yeah. They get heated all the time, all the time. People are like, no, but this just can't happen. You know? And some people have like, like, like real, like, uh, fears or whatever, but sometimes you get people who just can't, they just don't want to accept that there is an alternative to fucking being led around by a leash by some asshole on television or your job or whatever. And so they defend it to themselves, you know? Like, I went to school for journalism. And like, the reason I start to see that shit just doesn't make sense, know what I mean? Like, like you see all these different uh, systems of governance. Like, your biggest failures, people, aren't fucking taking control of your own lives. You, like, put these people in places of power, and they trade, like, freedom for safety, and they get too lazy to make their own decisions. And it's like, no, that's not what it's about. You know what I mean? Not that every person is an island. I mean, like, I try to explain this to people who come out here all the time. And they're like, what about, what about people who just want to go out and murder people? It's like, number one, like, no one wants to live in that society. That's just inherent, innate desire to be safe. And second of all, people take, people take care of their business, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the one thing about the police apparatus in this country, the police apparatus in this country is here, is not here to keep you safe. The police apparatus in this country is here to make sure you get to work on time. And these two are separate things, you know? And just like those, like those differences, those differences, and the, the best, the best way I see those things being solved that are so hard to get around is just like, you gotta take personal responsibility with every aspect of your life, you know? I was living in New Orleans for five and a half years. Now I live in the park. My mother sent me a strongly worded email a couple days ago, so that was, that was, I really haven't written back to her yet. She's just, she's a strong capitalist, right, so yeah, she's a strong capitalist, and so she's like, man, you need to go and get on this line right now, hard, you know, so, but I was like not so about it. And from my dad, my dad's a closeted black militant, so they're like, they're gonna kill you! <laughs> so, I'm going to DC for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to probably have some coffee, I don't know. I'm gonna, I don't know, she's just like, she's apologetic in, about how I turned out. She's really, you know, like, like, I wish I could have loved on you more and taught you better, blah, blah, blah. My mother made me too smart. She loved, she, she, she made me like fucking like, she was like, yo, she never said take advantage of the system, like, take advantage of the system while you can, but then she put me like, like, I was facing $80,000 in college loans, I was like, that was the track I was on, but I got lucky enough and started selling drugs in college, so I walked out of college in the black and not in the red. <laughs> I can't tell my mother that, but... You know, it's like, but she was the kind of person that was like, yeah, if you see the opportunity, take that shit. So, <laughs> at some point, everybody relies on community. You know what I mean? We're all fucking, you know, we rely, well, let's put it this way. It's a big repository of effort, you know? I'm, if I'm not doing my part, somebody somewhere else is going to get fucked up. You know, so, and so you've got to, got to do, what you've got to do is you've got to do your part, and the thing is, if you do because everybody's doing their share, it's like a big ass machine with a million different gears, and it's like, we all got to maintain our gear. 
to a certain extent that the whole thing works, you know? We just moved the medical, tw medical tent about 20 yards up and I was jumping around and I was like, man, it's like the first case of eminent domain ever in Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> but the thing, it was amazing. Look, you know, we, where we wanted to put it and where we went with these people in the situation, there was just really like no space. I think one of the things that's really nice about living in Zuccotti Park is that the neighborhood structure still stands, even in the park. Like, you have your neighbors, and they're hopefully cool people, and you know, they're looking out for you, you're looking out for them. So I'm like, man, actually kind of move this whole neighborhood and put it into this spot where we, and then switch it over and make it as seamless as possible. And of course, one of the guys is like, was like, no, I'm not moving, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> blah, 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 you know? And you know, it took like three days, but they all, with a little bit of persuasion, a lot of talking, they all picked up and moved, and it didn't go as smoothly as planned, but it happened. I was talking to this uh, Dutch social scientist two mornings ago, you know, flying in from Cleveland for a conference, stopped in New York, and was going back to Holland, and we, you know, she came down here, and we were just talking and talking, and uh, she was really interested in what I call cross-pollination of all the different groups together. All different occupations, all around the country, and how we're sharing information, and like the good ideas that come from all over the country. And now naturally good ideas, naturally good ideas to wash the dishes this way, it's a naturally good idea to serve food this way, and she was like, oh man, that's, that's the one thing that the national media isn't telling people here is that the bigger situation than these isolated little pockets of whatever it is, and you know, that's true. It's, it's all over the country, I mean, all over. People talking, getting, gets, people talking about it a couple days ago, like, like, you know, two weeks ago, and then Zuccotti Park gets raided and the whole shit's over. Man, if they come and raise Zuccotti Park, it would only make the movement stronger, you know? And that is the position we find ourselves in.